Behind the curtain, everybody. <laughs> Everyone, that was behind the curtains. Like they said, check them out at midnight munchies and approximately 11:15 p.m.
Uh, next up, we have a member of the Stevens Stand-Up Society to warm you all up in a comedic sense. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our very own Isaac Lake! <laughs> All right, before we begin, I'd just like to give a round of applause to our fellow African Americans in the audience. If you guys could stand up for me. Give them a round of applause, guys. Yeah. You see, when I was going, to, when I applied to Stevens, I was well aware that the population of African Americans was at 2%. What I didn't realize, that meant two black people. <laughs> And let me tell you, shit is scary. Not for the fact of, you know, racism, but more in the fact that we now have to be everyone's token black friend. <laughs> and let me tell you, shit gets exhausting fast. I get it, guys. You like Kendrick Lamar, I like Kendrick Lamar. We can both agree on that. But what's most exhausting is Halloween. You guys do some crackhead shit, let me tell you that. I don't know damn well why you do, because who gets blamed for it first? <laughs> exactly, I've seen the movies. So coming here was a lot different compared to home. Uh, we usually didn't have a dating app scene. Uh, you kind of just went up to people and just went, uh, left, right, super like. <laughs> So, you know, coming here was, uh, it was a big change, and, uh, you know, I wasn't ready for the competition, so, you know, I decided the best way to do my research was to set my preference to guys and girls, to see how the guys did, you know, get a, get a good gist of the information. And let me tell you, you guys are great. I mean, I didn't realize all it took was knowing Tame and Paula, and knowing how to row is all you need to get girls. <laughs> Shit's crazy. And for the females, are like all you guys fucking models? Like in this area, all I see are models from the Fashion Institute. And, <laughs> and you know, I just got thinking, why are there so many models using this app? And then I realized, dating apps are just LinkedIn for models. <laughs> the resumes are practically on their titties. And you know, the guys that use it, they're just CEOs of like Victoria's Secret and shit, you know? They just send the super like, like, hey, ladies, do you want to be part of my fashion show? Come meet me at my cafe and we can talk. <laughs> so, you know, coming here as a freshman, I had that, you know, that pride and joy. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm away from my parents. I go past 10 o'clock. <laughs> But week two, that died for me. Um, the only thing that brings me joy in college now is our campus burrito place. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like the adults who are approaching 30 and like the dudes who are like, I mean, I guess I have to get married and have a kid, oh God. So you know, like I'm standing in the burrito shop line, I'm talking to everyone else in line, you know, you expecting to? Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then I get up, and then she asked me, you know, why do brown rice? And I'm always like, brown, of course. Um, so I start picking out the ingredients, you know, how beef, you know, lettuce, cheese, and all that. And we start wrapping it up, and I see my own burrito right there, my own burrito baby, nice and warm. Tortillas greeting me, and I just grab it, and I just run the fuck home. And, like, oh. and I unwrap it, and it's staring at me. I start playing with it, and I'm like, oh. And you start taking the bites, and it's so great, and then, and then he gets to the last bite. And then you realize, that's the last time you're going to see it. And you got the single tear running down his face. But God, it tastes so fucking good. And then you miss them. And then eventually you do see them again. But they change. <laughs> They're shittier now. And you start thinking to yourself, will it still taste the same? And it doesn't. Oh God, it doesn't. Oh. And I think I speak for most parents in the audience. That's when you go get the second child. 
All right, that's my set. I hope you guys enjoy the show. <laughs> Look at her. No, she's, she's great, but 
if you've ever been born, you couldn't have not been born, you motherfucker! <laughs>
I'm not sure I understand. I don't know what you mean by. I'm trying to pray. How about a web search for it? Contact you all day. 
Can you just fuck off and let me talk for once? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you really fucking kidding me right now? Okay, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop cursing. What the fuck is that? Yes, that's what I've been trying to tell you. Are you seeing someone else? No, no, yes, you gotta listen. Well, guess what? I'm seeing someone else too. What? <laughs> hey, Jack. <Jeff>. Tony? <laughs> yeah, sorry, bro. This is over, Jeremy. No, Jeff, wait. Some pretty interesting stuff in these lockers today. I'm uh, on hot today, Daryl. Sick about that? I bet you won't get a single locker. That's right. Neither will you. I'm thinking it all. Oh, we definitely got this today. <laughs> Alright, before we go through that gate, we're gonna need to go over the rules of the auction. We're gonna go into the unit and we're gonna unlock the lock. You'll have five minutes to look around. You cannot go inside the unit, you cannot look at any of the boxes. And whoever has the most cash on them can certainly go home with the prize. Are you ready? Yeah! So let's go!
gathered today to evaluate the case of the people of the state of New Jersey versus Razzle Dazzle Car Wash. Are both sides ready? Ready. Ready, Your Honor. You may present your opening statement. <coughs> Thank you. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the defendant has been accused of murdering my client's spouse. Jessica! The <laughs> evidence <laughs> will corroborate that on the night of October 28th, Jessica Miller was visiting... Will you at least show your face? Father, doctor, I feel my 
my spirit lifting from my body. Apologies, but my time has come. No! Come on! Surely it cannot be your time! Doctor! There must be something we can do to prevent this untimely and some tragic death of our son! Oh, yes, but I must borrow your computational device. Please, by all means, good doctor. Well, if my calculations are correct, this message shall travel so quickly it will go backwards in time, telling you exactly which elixir to procure before poor Kamaj had ever fallen ill. Doctor, no, no, what's happening? <laughs> By the grace of the Lord, here in my pocket, sort of been P.E. not drowsy, cold and cold for me. I am Here's how it's going. 
We're going to ask you a couple of questions, and if you get enough right, you could win tonight's grand prize. What's the grand prize? Take it away, Mikey! A trip for two to beautiful Barbados. Take a stroll on the breathtaking beaches of Playa del Puerta and relax. Total package price, $3,000. That sounds nice. All right, here we go. Ready, Bradley? Really Question one. Earlier tonight, you ordered a third drink, even though you told yourself you would have just two. Why did you do that, Bradley? <laughs> you know, you might get another drink, and I didn't want to look like I wasn't having a good time. Plus, you know, I don't really know what I need right now, so I thought that maybe another drink might help. Take a look at the board. <laughs> Sorry, Bradley, but it's early off enough in the game. Plenty of points left, all right? But that's just how I feel. <laughs> Sorry, Bradley, but the correct answer was, studio audience, say it with me. You, you haven't felt the warmth of another person in weeks. <laughs> and you just wanted to get in my pants. <laughs> Isn't that right, Bradley? I, I guess so. All right, here we go. Question two. You said your relationship with your parents is on somewhat rocky terms. Please elaborate. That's not the question. Please elaborate! <laughs> okay, well, my parents kicked me out recently because I haven't really been able to hold down a job, so I've been living out of my car. I haven't really talked to them since. Aww. Let's take a look at the board, Bradley. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Does that mean I won the trip tomorrow? Question three! <laughs> Why did you go on this date, Bradley? Uh, your profile seemed cool and our messages were promising. Ooh, let's take a look at the board. Oh, sorry, Bradley, but the correct answer was you still miss your ex. And you hope that by going on this impromptu date, you could convince your sad shell of a self that you were over them. But that's clearly not the case. <laughs> Whoa, let's take a seat, bud. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back after these messages. Make a deal! <laughs>